happened about 350 years ago of great significance to science in general. We are going to recreate something that happened in Isaac Newton's back garden back in the 17th century. So first of all, we'll simulate Isaac Newton using Tracy and this nice picture of Isaac Newton. Very good. And you can show the rest of it, it's all right. <laughs> and then Isaac Newton's apple tree. And this is a piece of wood actually from Isaac Newton's very own apple tree. So we simulated it there. And an apple. Unfortunately, we don't have an apple. We have a pear because the last apple on the ISS was eaten last night by an unnamed crew member and uh, the confidentiality laws prevent me from mentioning her by name. But we have this pair instead. So Apple, Isaac, here we go. Let it go. And you would think it would fall, but it's not. But Isaac knows better. It really is falling. It's just that everything else is falling around it. So he would know what was going on and be very pleased. Thank you. Yay! Right. And here we're coming down the FGB and up to the meme. <laughs> hey guys, there's nobody in the meme. Oh, <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey guys. Here we are. How do you like it? Hey, my dear. Plenty of room, huh? Uh, I can't. I cannot say that. <laughs> it's pretty noisy in here. I mean, it'll be items. Yeah. It will be. Uh, there will be plenty of room once it's all unpacked, and they're doing a great job of getting that done. But uh, here's here's the cone where the probe uh, went in and where we doctor with using the arm without touching the sides. Note. Yeah. Yes. 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 There's a little nick on uh, the probe in one corner. Actually, I want to go check that out. But uh, anyway, she pretty much came right down the middle, and uh, as you can see, she, the hatches are open, and uh, we got a wonderful spank, spanking, sparkling, spanking, sparkling new uh, element here. And to commemorate the event in a very formal and uh, official uh, manner, yes, uh, a certain Dr. Pierce Sellers commissioned a work of art. Actually, he didn't really commission it, he kind of did it. Uh, he is uh, the artist, and I have it here in my hands. This is the official model of Mim Adin, or MRM1, or Rasabit. And it's built uh, exactly to the scale of a pepper pot to the Rasabit. Yes. That's the uh, dimensions. Uh, it's it's not the uh, actual size. It's not actual size, <laughs> no. But, uh... But here, here's uh, the prime objective of the STS-132 mission. Uh, successfully accomplished. Successfully accomplished. And as you can see now, that the MIM can hold tons of food and two Russians. Yes. Who, uh, if they were left in there, could eat their way out. <laughs> All right. Uh, what? Hey, Oleg. You're sitting in your new module, Rasvet. How do you like it? It's pretty good. Brand new. Uh, very bright. Uh, very interesting and we haven't still looked all the module because you see it is a pretty packed roll with cargo, with stuff, with frames and we work very hard to clean it up, to remove all, all items from module and see an in initial configuration. And But in any case we're really glad that we get this mod new Russian module and especially thanks for this test 132 crew and for Atlantis, that was, they did a great job to deliver. Well, we're happy this, to do it, man. What, what are you going to do module. with it once it's? What are you going to do with it once it's all emptied out? Mostly, it'll be a science module. We have uh, four universal science racks on this module. Plus, cool. of course, this will be uh, like a storage uh, area, and also it'll be an extra port for so use for progress. Right. And you guys need the storage, so this is good news that we absolutely yeah, yeah. That's, and it really. Uh, help us uh, to clean up station to keep it in good shape. All right, man. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Good luck. Hey, Bruno. Hi, Steve. What are you doing? Hello, Pierce. <laughs> I'm uh, hello cleaning out my food locker. All right. Consolidating. We had uh, two trays of food for the whole time here, 
and everything that I uh, don't think I'm going to eat, I'm going to leave here on station for the other guys and lighten our load a little bit coming home. Right here, the blueberry cobbler is the peak item space. in demand, and that and Kona coffee. Yes. So I've loaded up on that. Steve, are you I'm doing drinking the same thing? as much as I can before. No, actually, I've already emptied my food drawers. Now I'm just eating. So, Steve, are you trying to sell yours? And what is the currency on station? Does That's a good question. I'm not exactly sure what we can use as a currency here. There's a value upon our return to Earth. I think goodwill. Yeah. Oh, goodwill. That's what we've been establishing. Here. There you Ooh, go. There's something I missed. Good for you, man. Some key. Okay, so Steve, are you eating those uh, nuts, or I thought you were going to hand them over to station side? No, 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 no. They said keep what we wanted for the last few days. Oh, okay. Um, M&M's. This is the commodity. That probably is the currency of yeah, the choice. Yeah, yeah. These are coming home for my daughter, Shannon. Shannon, these are all yours. Look. Fantastic NASA <laughs> M&M's. 